What is up, man? 25 gamers. In today's video, of scheme of the week, we're gonna accomplish a couple things with this formation here that we're gonna break down. Remember, we're in the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook, and the, and the play we're gonna be looking at today uh, it comes from the doubles flex wing. This play, uh, this uh, formation, can only be found in the Miami playbook and the Green Bay Packers playbook. And uh, the first play we're gonna look at today is halfback dive, and this is gonna allow us to have a nice running play combined with a really good blitz speeding play that we're going to show you in a minute but remember how much we were running out of the gun nor uh, out of our base formation the gun wing offset now we're going to be using this one as well and we're going to just mix in these two different types of runs okay so first of all the hp dive guys i can't say enough about this run last year was uh one of the best runs if not the best run in the game this year it's no different it's very good very effective and um definitely going to be able to use it to just easily run the ball remember it's our quick audible down here from this formation and it does a really really good job and you can just run it all through it's just like a inside zone read uh, type of run and I really really like this run so I like to use that run to in a situation where I just want to show them that I'm gonna be running from this formation primarily um, we'll just use this run and we'll just we'll just say okay there's five yards and it's very difficult to stop this run this run uh... And as opposed to the other one the counter we were talking about earlier this run when ran commit against is um, it's not it's not always great uh, it doesn't always work out great for you but it's it, it's still if they're run committing against it it means it's tough to stop and uh... you know so anyways that's the run hb dive next play i want to look at is the um, we only have two plays we're really going to look at here. Uh, we're going to look at the PA seams, and we're going to look at the slot cross. So PA seams, uh, we have a stock fade on the left side of the screen, so that's an automatic man beater. We know that from last season. And then we're just going to do double wheel routes to the running back and the tight end here. And we're going to take Greg Jennings, we're going to put him on a drag. And those are the adjustments we're going to make. If they're in man-to-man -man coverage, um, Patterson here, you're just going to um, pass lead, possibly him either up or to the inside and you're going to user catch that now obviously guys if you struggle with user catching you may want to put an out route there or something else that beats man that you don't have to user catch i personally sometimes struggle with user catching but when i get it right like there you see uh it does beat man coverage okay so moving on to the next read uh on this play the next read on this play are the double wheel routes we're just going to try and see if we can maybe hit ap typically you'll get that block from the tight end it's just a really good screen concept uh, it was brought to us by ryan dykes from last season uh for those of you who don't know ryan dykes be sure to check out his youtube channel there should be a link to it in the description below and uh just a really good madden guy over there um our next read on this play is going to be greg jennings on the drag if they're if he's covered we'll just playmaker him back across the screen and be able to beat it if uh, if we need to normally we won't be able to need to beat man uh through greg jennings um, typically we'll be able to beat it on our first two reads but here if we need to you'll see just playmaker him back across the screen and uh, you're going to crush uh, man coverage and then our last read on this play is going to be the deep post to patters uh to uh, Rudolph here. I'm going to get back to the PA seams. Yeah, there we go. So that will be our play. And just watch this Rudolph. Um, just pass lead it to the inside and you're just going to click on and user catch it. You could lob pass this or bullet pass this. It does not matter. I personally recommend you lobbing it just because um, it just seems to work a little bit better for me. Uh, if I just bullet pass it, click on and, and go get it obviously you know you can wait you can do whatever you want with that route that route can also is also really good against zone um, but it's just primarily if they're in a man if they're in a cover zero blitz we'll pass lead that up i mean here two men under is not going to show you let me grab a let me grab like a cover zero a weak blitz here and we'll just put we'll put smith in a zone as if he was try so they're trying to stop the screen pass over here and if this occurs the cool thing about this play is with a, when you get this route, just lob pass lead up and then click on, and Rudolph is so big, it's just going to be an easy catch for him. So that's why we like to use that play. Uh, but the main pass is the slot cross, uh, just like last year. And uh, what we want to do with this is we're just going to put our uh, our tight end, uh, Carlson, here on a wheel, or on a, excuse me, on a, a streak. We're going to put Adrian Peterson on a wheel route, and we're going to put Jennings on a smart routed out route. And then we're going to put Patterson on a zig route. We're going to motion Patterson in uh, right about here and on the zig. And you're going to see here it's going to do a really good job of beating man coverage. Now that's not our first read. It's just uh, I just wanted to show you the motion snap. 
Okay, so set the play up again. And now we're going to take a look at a situation where they uh, may be blitzing us uh, double side pressure here out of the cover three. If this happens, um, our first read on this play is our um, tight end here out of the backfield. Uh, just hit him and uh, run. It's a really good quick pass in my opinion. Uh, does a good job against beating zone pressure. And then... Our next read on this play is going to be actually our running back, and in my opinion, he does a really good job of beating man pressure. Combined with that out route, a two-man read, a two-man window, and the out route does a really good job of beating uh, uh, man blitzes. Uh, in my opinion, it's actually probably one of the better man blitz beating routes uh, in the game. And then uh, our next read is going to be uh, Rudolph coming across the middle. He's going to beat. Um, he's going to usually beat man. Um, that time he got, uh, I think we may have, I think we may have snapped a little too quick on the shift here. Uh, and that's another thing, guys, real quick, just make sure you're snapping the ball, um, at a, you know, just, don't just quick snap, you know, let, make sure everybody's set, otherwise fluke pops off, in my opinion. But there you see, Pasley down to the inside, he's just gonna body him up, and, uh, easily beat man that way. And then, of course, um, the reason we put the motion snap zig on there is so we can be uh, a man blitz uh, if, or just have a late read just in case uh, everything else is covered. And you're going to see, um, you're going to just hit him when he cuts to the inside here. So when you go to look at your slot cross route, I would recommend go ahead and glancing at your uh, X route if he's open hit him. So we look right, no, no, and then just hit the, the, the P P Patterson underneath there for an easy, he's on, uh, for an easy read. So that's how I like to use the slot cross and the PA seams and all that out of the Nubbles Flex wing. So be sure to check out the rest of the scheme throughout the week, and we'll see you guys next uh, next video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys tomorrow.